Morning, afternoon, and evening, everyone. In today's video, we will be bringing our characters from our stories to life. So let's put our creative hats on <laughs> and get to work. <laughs> Okay, awesome. Now that I've got my space capsule, all I need to do is make the family to go with it now to tell my story. So today for my puppets, I'm going to be using colored pencils, a few skewers, scissors, pencil, and some paper. So the puppet I'm going to create today are little 2D puppets that have a front and a back to them. And they're going to be held by a skewer. When you're making this, you can also consider having the skewer at the top or at the bottom, so it could be puppeteered like that. I'm gonna be drawing my puppets today, similar to what I did with the finger puppets video not too long ago, but you can use any form of puppetry for this. Here's an update of what my puppets look like. Just a quick tip if you're trying to do puppets like what I am, just make sure you flip the puppet before you trace it, or it won't match up. All right, so this is the finished product of all my puppets. Now, let's go see them in action. Oh, that looks awesome! Oh no, I knocked the table down! Yeah, well, uh, as always, we hope those tips help. And thanks for watching. We'll be back soon with a new video. And it's gonna be us performing. Hmm? Hmm? Bye, everyone! Okay, so I start off with designing exactly what I want the boy to look like. Despite the fact that I'm going to be putting him together in a few parts, I draw him whole first, just so I know what I'm thinking. And then I start drawing out the other sections. So I'm just cutting him out and starting to put him together and figure out exactly how I'm gonna do this. So I've cut out all the pieces and I'm just putting them together using split pins so the hinges work. What you can also do is use um, thread perhaps as well. That works just as well. Now I'm just giving him a colour in to make him look a bit more fun and a bit more colourful. And there he is. So you can see that the hinging because of the split pin works really, really well. Once again, you can do the same thing with thread. Now I've just made a little dog figure and what I'm doing at the moment although you can't quite see it is I am sticking him together because I did two different dogs so both sides would look exactly the same and now here they are together in this episode I'm going to create a character for my bath in a bubble and that character is going to be me what? How are you going to do that? Well, let me show you. First, you want to start with a body of some kind. I have created mine out of these cotton buds stuck together with tape. This is because I needed them to be plastic so they could go in the bath. I also have a control rod made out of chopstick so I can manipulate from above. And then take some selfies. However many faces you want, I'm going to choose these three. Then just pop them into a Pages or Word document, imagining how big they might need to be, and print them out. Then cut them out with some scissors, put some tape to the back, rolled up, and then voila! Oh hey guys, look it's me, I'm a puppet now! <laughs> well look, how cool does my face look? Oh, no, it's a bit too close. <laughs> oh, yippee! I can jump around. Look, woohoo! Woohoo! We can go over here. Haha, <laughs> look, it's me! <laughs> well, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. Now, to find out how to return to my usual self. Now that we all have our characters and our stage, the next thing we need to do is perform. We hope this video helped you in creating your puppets. In our next video, we will be performing our stories. If you feel ready to perform, go right ahead. Toy theatre is a wonderful form of home entertainment, so you could perform your story for your family. We'll be getting our stages ready now, so we'll see you in the next video.
Bye. 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 Bye.